I'll do a better video later, um, but just wanted to show off how this works. So when it first boots up, you have to wait until that window shows up. If that window's not there, it's not going to function yet. So once that window's there, left is Rocksmith, up is the Ultra Star, right is Clone Hero. So here on this, I have exit, volume down, left, right, or, you know, left, right, up, and down, volume up, and then enter. So I'm going to go ahead and press up and just press it one time and give it a second and it'll boot the program. So from here, I can navigate with my up, down, left, and right. Um, so a couple things, if I go into the settings, again, I'm gonna press enter. And just to show you this, it's been defaulting correctly, but just to show you this works, I'm gonna go to microphones, and you just wanna make sure that whenever you go over to the USB 3, that you can see there on channel one, one is selected. So that means that the USB microphone that we have is actually going to be correct. That's defaulted correct after I've said it one time, but I just wanted to show it. So I'm gonna hit escape and go back. And then all you'll do is go into the microphone game. So again, I'll press enter. And then you can start scrolling through the songs. I have this program that if you hold the down arrow for two seconds, it'll do page down. If you hold up for two seconds, it'll page up. So if I hold down, you can see there, it's going to go through all these really fast. And same thing if I go up. I can just press it to go up or hold it down to continue that way. So um, that's it. You'll just press enter. You can go in and play the game. Uh, so I'm going to hit escape and escape again. Do you want to leave? I'm going to go left and hit yes. Now this program is going to be enabled again up here in the top left. So now I can pick either one of these. So I'll go ahead and hit Rocksmith, which is left. So again, just give it a second to boot the program. And this is where you'll use the real uh, Rocksmith Plus. You know, everything will be USB. Just make sure everything's always plugged in. I would just leave it plugged in. Uh, but you'll plug that into your actual guitar. And once this, once this boots up, it's pretty easy. It's just up, down, exit, and um, enter. I'll go ahead and hit the volume but up button. You can see that works, the volume down. If you're in the Ultra Star karaoke, sometimes it'll blink a little bit when you're doing the volume up and down. Don't worry about it. Just hold down volume up or hold down volume down to adjust the volume. So I'll press enter here. Do you have a Uplay account? Just press escape. Wait, sorry. Press escape and then press escape again. You can set up a profile if you want to. Uh, when I press enter here, it's going to try to hit... Again, the UB server is going to say it can't, which is fine. Press enter and you're in the game. Um, it'll be fully loaded, ready to play once you're in. So you just start answering the questions for your guitar, calibrate it, and then go in and all of the games are there. So I can hit exit. It'll go back to the front screen. Press exit again. Now here I could cancel if I wanted to, or I can exit out. So now it's going to go back to the main program here, and this time I'm going to press right for Clone Hero. And again, just give it a second to uh, boot up. So just press it once and give it a second. So you can see there, it took it 10 seconds or so to boot up. So now I'm going to grab the guitars. And just to show you guys this, so a couple things here. Here's the guitar. You'll press that button next to the um, next to the D-pad. The one that has the light at the top. There's two lights there. It's kind of hard to see. Which is actually this other guitar. This will be player one, where the light. The other thing too is you saw how it changed screens. This has a deal in it to where if you move it, it'll go to that screen. And the thing that sucks is you have to use a mouse to hit done because this is where you program controls. They're all controlled, so you won't have to. So just don't wave that around while you're in the deal. Um, I did it because I picked it up. So from here, just to show you, it's going to seem like it's broken. That's just the software. It's not. You have to actually select your player first before anything will happen. So if you push the whichever direction you want to call that, if you're facing it, it's left. If you're looking down at it, it's right. But when you push that, it's going to allow you to set up a profile or hit guest. And now you'll just use the normal navigation. So green is go. And then I can navigate up and down with this. So you can see there, so I go quick play, green, and all everything will work like it says at the top. So I can just come down here and select my song. So I'm going to go ahead and go back, and just to show you the other guitars turned on as well. So again, that's on the second one. 
and it's going to be the same thing. So you'll see here, I'm going to push the right or left, however you want to look at it. And then the green and my second player's in. It's wanting me to do a actual profile here. Oh, nice. ASSA, because that's what it's doing. But that's how you go in there. Um, you can type in your profile with just the wireless keyboard or whatever. But that's how you set that up and play Clone Hero. And then, um, so here I can just press A on that. So you can see both players are in now. You can set one up as base. You can set them both up as lead and like play against each other, whatever you want. I'll just press um, the red again to go back. And then I'm gonna go down to quit, press the green. Are you sure? Yes. And now I'm back. Everything's gonna work. And then finally I can press down. And when I do, it's gonna shut down the computer. So you can see there, it's shutting down.